Okay, folks. So here we go with being in Microsoft doing damage control for the narrative about Obama's birth certificate. This is the first time I've seen this little pop up here when I put in information into the Bing chat. Pretty curious because typically this little Bing chat here will save every conversation. All right. But for some reason, I put in the link to this YouTube video. Okay. And it comes up with this. Let's not save this conversation. The answer to your question may contain info that's not public. Really, what information isn't public about this video? Because this video is publicized on YouTube. And to protect your privacy, we're not saving it. Chat history so far has been saved. Yeah, this is damage control for the narrative that Obama's birth certificate is fucking fake and photoshopped, okay? It's pretty interesting because uh, that when I put in this link to this video to Bing, it comes up with this. This conversation may have info that's not public. Conversation will not be saved after this point. Why wouldn't Bing want to save this conversation where I shared this link to this video showing proof that Obama's birth certificate was forged? Okay. Now, does this prove anything beyond a shadow of a doubt? In my mind, it does. Because why would there be a letter B on this birth certificate that was supposed to have been typed back in 1961 have a B that is not a font that would have been found on a typewriter back in 1961. Why is it that there are other people that have gone through this birth certificate and discovered that this typed letter B did not exist? The font, everything does, did not exist back in 1961. There's no way that this birth certificate that they posted up on the White House back in 2011 is a copy of an original birth certificate. It was photoshopped and doctored, okay? Obama was born in Kenya, period. And if you look at the history of Kenya, Kenya is highly corrupt. Not only is Kenya highly corrupt, but the great state of Hawaii is a conduit for Kenyan corruption. So it's kind of interesting that the great state of Hawaii would be the one providing this fake ass birth certificate for Obama. You see that, folks? Do you see how every other letter here has this pixelization gray area around it? Every other letter except for this B. There's no way this B and these were typed up on a 1961 typewriter. This was a digitally created copy. His birth certificate is fake because he was born in fucking Kenya. All right. Something needs to be done about it. A serious investigation needs to be done concerning this situation here where we had a illegitimate president who wasn't born in this fucking country. And we also now have a state, the state of Hawaii, that is complicit with the cover-up. All right? So as far as I'm concerned, I see the state of Hawaii corrupt as fuck as well. We need to drop the state of Hawaii. All right? Yeah, sorry, I can't access your webpage at the moment. Try again in some time. This is damage control provided by Microsoft and Bing that is controlling the information about Obama's birth certificate being forged. The man is a fucking criminal. This needs to be seriously investigated. And every, every document, every order, every executive order that that character signed needs to be examined and rescinded. His presidency was illegitimate. It needs to be investigated. And I'm tired of these AI programs providing damage control, all right? This is this is not cool. This is not cool at all that the AI is being trained and programmed to intentionally, intentionally provide damage control and opposition to counter facts and truthful information, all right? This is just, it's so disturbing to me. Kenya is so fucking corrupt, folks. I'm telling you. See if I can get my links here. Where is letter from Bishop Ron McRae? All right. I don't need too much more proof other than this, other than what I've already seen with the Photoshop videos, because there's three other Photoshop videos as well showing how the birth certificate was Photoshopped. There's even one that shows a, a faint hint of the Kenyan crest, of the Kenyan seal, all right, that they Photoshopped over and put a Hawaii thing over. Yeah. It's all bullshit. Bullshit.
But this is an interesting letter here that was posted up from uh, Bishop Ron McRae talking about an interview that he had with Obama's grandmother where she stated not once but twice that she was present when Obama was born in Mombasa, Kenya, when he was born in Kenya. All right. And this is let me I'll just read this. Mr. Farley, I have read a multitude of pro and con articles concerning the taped interview of Sarah which most of both views fail in a truly factual desire to discover anything beyond authors of those articles, preconceived notions and beliefs about Obama's birth prior to listening to the tape. The taped interview is only a small fraction of evidence and honestly should only be used as perhaps an introductory to a much deeper issue than just Sarah's initial response or the exasperated attempts of her other grandson, who was the second translator to correct the verbal response of Sarah. People want to ignore the fact that there were two translators present on that phone interview. One was a step-grandson of Sarah, and the other was our national evangelist, Kueli Shahubia. His sworn affidavit has been submitted to the United States Supreme Court, as well as my own. Oh, you don't say. So sworn affidavits have been given to our United States Supreme Court concerning this interview, where his grandmother states she was there present when he was born in Kenya. Our state Supreme Court has these sworn affidavits, okay? The question that I asked Sarah was repeated to her twice, and both times she adamantly answered very proudly that, yes, she was present in Mombasa, Kenya, when Barack Obama was born. Upon Sarah's two admissions to having been present when Barack Obama was born in Kenya, her step-grandson realizes the seriousness of his grandmother's response and immediately begins to respond to the contrary while moving his hand towards his grandmother's mouth to silence her from saying anything further, while he tries to answer my pointed questions himself and correct what his grandmother has revealed. You see, Mr. Farley, we have witnesses that were present during that conversation, including police officers and soldiers. All of my subsequent questions concerning Obama's birth were not translated to Sarah, but the step-grandson insisted on replying immediately to me himself in English, while continuing to move his hand towards Sarah's mouth, motioning her to be quiet. How disrespectful. Do you have to be, and we're talking about a step-grandson. This isn't even this woman's real grandson over there trying to hush her up and move his hand over her mouth to keep her from speaking what she knows to be truth. What was probably a very proud moment for her as a grandmother seeing her grandson being born in Mombasa, Kenya. She's being shut up and silenced and not allowed to talk about something like that. That is so disrespectful and disgusting. Kenya is disgustingly corrupt. The only portion of the conversation and questioning that Sarah was allowed to respond to me about was the initial question if she was present when Barack Obama was born in Kenya. To that question, she clearly responded twice that Barack Obama was born in Mombasa, Kenya, and that she was present when he was born. Mr. Farley, Sarah Obama is not a liar, and she is not ignorant or stupid. The most important aspect of her life and history as a mother and a grandmother is not just that her grandson is president of the United States but that she was present when he was born. That is a culturally significant aspect of Kenyan life, that the grandmother be present to witness the actual birth of her grandchildren. She is not going to lie about that for anyone, including her famous grandson. For the grandmother to be a witness to the birth of her grandchildren is more important to African life than th that the presence of a physician, than th that the presence of a physician, okay? Grandmother is more important than the physician. I have copies of Barack Obama's Kenyan birth certificate. He was seven pounds and one ounce, 18 inches long and six inches across his so shoulders. The certificate is easily enough proven true or false. If Barack Obama wants to clear the record, his Kenyan birth certificate contains his feet print for his right foot. Now, let's put everything to rest and verify his footprint with the Kenyan record. Let Mr. Obama come forward and allow an independent expert in finger slash footprinting technology take his footprints before a panel of witnesses and examine the evidence from the Kenyan birth records. If there is not a match, I will personally lead the effort of telling everyone to shut up about it and let him be president. Concerning my view of Barack Obama, he has performed as good as any of his predecessors in shouldering the blame for everything that is wrong in America. Concerning anything in his past as a Muslim or a sinner is of no concern to me. I don't know, it's concerning to me. And I am not interested in his moral failures as a young man, although there were many, right? I mean, there's been videos put out there showing him as a Muslim. And we all know that there was information put out there about how he was recruited by the CIA. And that's exactly how the deep state operates too, folks. They go over to these third world countries and they pluck these young characters away from their families and they groom them, raise them up, 
to become deep state actors and deep state tools. And that's exactly what this character called Barack Obama, otherwise known as Barry Satoro as well, is. He's a deep state actor and not a legitimate president. Says, uh, concerning, um, wait, 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 wait. It says, as far as him being a Christian, he is not one. He is openly a better Muslim than he is a Christian. And I would expound upon those testaments if you would like. Concerning my stand upon his presidency, I have no stand, for I do not consider him president. Would not give any allegiance to him or demonstrate any regard for him or any document he signs until he is man enough to step forward and prove his grandmother a liar. The Kenyan people are our grand people, but it is the most treacherous and damnable lie that one can tell that makes his own grandmother out to be an ignorant native at best or a liar at worst. To refuse the truth about one's birthplace is the lowest of moral character known to man in any country. Mr. Farley, I am a Christian and a preacher. I do not involve myself into politics and could care less about the corruption or lack of it that promotes any citizen to the office of president of the United States. It is no concern of mine that Congress, the Supreme Court, or this entire nation ignores the constitutional requirement to be a natural born citizen in order to be president. I care about that. I think that's very important myself personally. I think it's a rule that should not have been broken. And it says, he says further, but I cannot tolerate a liar and a fraud, especially one so low as to dishonor his grandmother or his father in denying the truth about his actual place of birth. That is the only issue this preacher has involved himself with in regards to Barack Obama. Until he steps forward and acknowledges his grandmother and tells the truth, this preacher will continue to do what is not him to do or tell. For you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. John 8, 32. I enjoy being free. Until Mr. Obama accepts or tells the truth, the lie will bind him hand and foot like a slave to his own conscience. By the grace of God alone, Ron McRae, presiding bishop, Anabaptist churches worldwide. And this was this was something that was posted up quite a while ago. Okay, we're talking years ago that this information has been out. So when he makes this statement here that a sworn affidavit, his own sworn affidavit has been submitted to the United States Supreme Court, as well as Bishop McRae's, this Kweli Shahubia and this Bishop John McRae both have sworn, uh, Bishop Ron McRae, excuse me, sworn affidavits. Our United States Supreme Court has sworn affidavits from people stating that Barack Obama was born in Kenya. Now, what are they doing about it? Have you heard anything at all from our Supreme Court concerning Obama's birth certificate being fake and about his grandmother making the statement twice that she was present when he was born in Kenya? And now there's another there's another little um, opposition thing when you do a search for this and you can try it yourself. Just search for Barack Obama's birth certificate is fake and you'll come up with a page after page of the opposition calling it out, fact checking it. And one of the things that they state is that, oh, his grandmother was just so old. She just doesn't remember things the way that she should. She's just old and she, her mind is just not there anymore. But I call bullshit on that, okay? Because a grandmother is going to remember something like that, okay? And the fact that she stated it twice and then you got this step-grandson during the interview putting his hand over her mouth, hushing her to stop her from saying it. Why would he do that? Why would they do that? Yeah. Obama was an illegitimate president, Okay. This shit needs to be investigated. Some shit needs to be backtracked and some, I, I don't know. Where do we go from there? Where do we go from there when we find out one of our former fucking presidents was not even born in this fucking country and is nothing but a fucking tool and a CIA deep state operative actor, right? What do we do? What do we do with that? I think it's concerning that our Supreme Court has had these sworn affidavits and they've done nothing to move on it. No one further investigation. We're just going to let this one go, right? Because Obama was one of the most popular presidents. I call bullshit on that one, too, because that shit was rigged. Shit was rigged right from the fucking start. Every one of these elections has been rigged right from the fucking start to suit their ultimate need, which is to have control over the public, to have control over their subjects, to have control over their fucking slaves. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't need too much more proof other than what's been shown to me already. I very firmly believe, without a shadow of a doubt, Obama was born in Kenya. He was plucked out of that third world country by the deep state and they raised him up and groomed him up for what we saw as a presidency in Barack Obama. I'm sorry. I got, I can't I'm not gonna let it go either. I guarantee you I'll be doing more videos showing more information concerning this. They'll probably get buried in the algorithms and the search engines won't bring up any information on it, much like you see here with Microsoft Bing, but I'm still going to try. And you better believe I'm going to be sharing this information in real life. I've already got this letter printed out. I've already got other information printed out that I'm going to be sharing in real life. So what do you think about that, Bing? And you artificial intelligence. Yeah. What do you think about that?